Hello, and welcome to Rose Play, Season 16, Episode 13. As always, I'm your host, Orin Moonrose, and today we'll be continuing the Let's Play of Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigation. So, last time, we, uh, figured out who was selling Philly stuff, came back to the Fire Kingdom, and got these hot peppers, and... Something else that I don't quite remember, but either way, they're they're out to do something, so let's figure this out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I found a glitch, I did, I did. Alright. That's fine. Why can I give him pebbles? That makes... No logical sense right now, but I guess I throw him in the soup. Really, I do. Oh, okay. Good job, Finn and Jake. The fire's plenty hot to boil the soup now. Once we add the peppers, the soup will be ready to simmer. All right. Like that. Thanks, Finn and Jake. Fire's going great. There should be just enough peppers in there to make Flame Princess feel better. I'll set I aside hope. a little to taste and seal the pot to simmer. Cinnamon Bun, now that we've helped you, can we... Not until I taste the soup, Finn. Here goes. Oh, no. Oh, ow! This soup is burning my grave, but... Ow! Oh, I wish I had no tongue! Yeah! There it is. What the flip was that? That was no tongue. That was a stupid thorn you were looking for. I told you it causes no tongue but grief. Oh no! The thorn knocked the soup pot across the room. Would you guys go get it so I can put it back on the fire? <sighs> yeah. How? Sure. First you burn your tongue, and now you want us to grab the the pot with our hands. Cinnamon I don't like that idea. Upset. We need to get that pot of soup back for him. You guys have got to get that pot of soup back for me. Okay, but still got to ask how. Where could it have taken it in this room? It must have flew out the window. Oh, there it is. Man, the sword knocked the pot up onto the ledge where we got the charcoal. Yeah, that's not extremely weird, but and it also destroyed a bridge. Looks like No Tongue knocked off two of the stairs. I guess we'll have to fix him to get up to the ledge. Uh. That won't work. Jake, I think I see one of the missing stair planks down there. That plank's way down there, dude. You can't reach it. Good thinking, Finn. The plank is floating right to the top. It's one of the missing steps from the stairway. Well, better hurry, because it looks like it already. Let's see if he's seen where the second one went. Those flame guards never look happy. I'm on duty. Please don't bother me. Don't touch me. I'm, I'm not touching you. Wait. Man, the sword knocked the pot up onto the ledge where we got the charcoal. Oh. Uh, I can't get it. Shouldn't Jake just... Just use the stairs, guys. That's why we built them in the first place. Yeah, except, you know, the second stairs, mi is it, it, is that it over there? Oh, it's this could be more easier than I thought. Never mind. Looks like No Tongue knocked off two of the stairs. Guess we'll have to fix them to get up to the ledge. Nice job. There's still one plank missing. My question is, how did you and put good them as new. back in? Algebraic. Nice. All right. Good thing it was covered and sealed. We'd have another soup explosion on our hands. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't taste Great. it again. Let's get the soup back to the fire for cinnamon bun. And apparently it's not hot anymore. Not sure how that one works, but you know, whatever. I guess I gotta talk to him with it. Thanks! You guys are the best! I see your tongue's better. Glad we can help. Now listen, 
You have got to give that sword back before it causes more damage or somebody gets hurt. Yeah. You can have it. I don't want it anymore. It has to be official. You have to give Finn the bill of sale so he's the official owner of the sword. Otherwise, he can't call it to him. Okay, here's the bill of sale. No thong is yours. It must have worked. Yeah, it didn't, didn't come, come flying. When CP said its name. Awesome. I guess I'll just call it then. No to Hang on. Remember, Billy used to catch the sword with the gauntlet of the hero. If you try it barehanded, you might lose a finger. Or a hand, you know, or an arm. arm. There you, you go. It last time that happened. Last yeah, time? that was no fun. But the gauntlet of the hero was destroyed by the lich. Where else can we find a nice, sturdy glove to catch the sword with? Hey, how about all those weird catcher's mitts that Lemon Grab oh, has no. in his castle? No, we, we can't be going um, back to Lemon Grab's. <laughs> yeah, that's a great He's not idea. Like us at all, Let's head over is to Castle Lemongrab. Okay, but we better be careful. Lemongrab's probably still mad about the pranks and being electrocuted, stuff like that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, good thinking. That's definitely worth noting. Aw, oh, come on! That wasn't even close to no tongue. Ugh! Would somebody please get that sword out of my kingdom? On it, princess. Come on, Jake. Let's go. You? Why have you returned to Castle Lemon Grab? Because I Listen, love to man, be punished. I'm really sorry about what happened when we were here before. Our behavior was less than mm, stellar. Unacceptable. Yeah, totally. Mm, yes, your pranks made me quite angry. And you left that magic person in my reconditioning chamber. Wait, he's still there? Even I find him to be most unpleasant. Have you come to take him away? I hope. Why no, didn't you just let sorry. him out? Actually, we came to ask if we could use something. Yeah, one of those catcher's mitts you have in all your display rooms. We won't take it out of the display, and we only need it for a few minutes. Mm, my catcher's mitts are very important to me and have great value in my lemon heart. But perhaps I can allow it. Oh, oh come boy. On, grab. We wouldn't be asking if it wasn't really important. Wait. What? Yeah. Yes. You may use one of my precious mitts. Awesome. Thanks. We'll just go and if you can bypass my new uh, defenses, I have but... set up a security device that should eliminate all breaking the in the future. If you can find a way past it, you may have the mitt you seek. Knew there had to be a catch. <sighs> you got a deal. Where do we start? Anywhere. Begin in the hallway, where you first began your last tormenting of me. But do not dare to hope, for you will find that your attempts to break the futile. Now, go! Oh, so this must be his I didn't think he'd just let us borrow one of his catcher's mitts. Oh, he is. You're wasting just gotta be time. If you do not get past my lemon defenses, you will not find the mitt you seek. Just a little bit disturbed by that thing, though. Hmm. All the doors have been changed. Yeah, they've got lights over them. And there's a bunch of poles with lemons on them in the hall. I see that. That must be the security system Lemongrab was talking about. Wonder how it works. He said it was really complicated. Sure hope we can figure it out. If we don't, we'll never get that catcher's mitt. That's true. All right. Now well, that door seems to be locked anyway. There's a red light over the door and some lemon shaped lights. There's too. a red light the over the door. Yes, that's why the big light is red. Wait. Dirty, clean, dirty, clean. Oh, I think I get it this now. This lemon pole has a light-colored lemon on it. I don't think that's going to make the lemon on the pole change color. Wait, 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 wait. What, what was it now? Dirty lot, dirty lot. Gotcha. There. Now it looks like the dark-colored lemon poles. All clean. Now it's a light-colored lemon pole. This is weird. There. Now it looks like the dark colored lemon poles. All clean. Now it's a light colored lemon pole. 
Your security system doesn't seem to be that great, dude, but, you know, what do I know? Actually, what do you say about it now? The light's green. That must mean the door's unlocked. Mm, awesome. Lemon John candies. These things are so sour that only Lemon Grab and his lemon peeps can eat them. Weird. Not really sure what these are for yet, but uh, let's try to give him one to make up. Oh, that was weird. Hey, Lemon Grab, we found a bunch of lemon candy. Want some? Mm, yes! Uh, I love lemon candy! Mm, yes. Okay, Morty. So sour! Sour is so much better than spicy! Spicy is unacceptable! Hey, what do you think about one more prank? For old time's sake. Maybe spice things up a little. Yeah, I bet we can come up with something good. I'm afraid. Lemon Grab will totally flip if we give him some spicy Lemon John candies. Why are we pranking him? Hey, we still got plenty lemon candy left. Want some more? Yes! Sour, non-spicy lemon candy is my favorite of all treats. This is gonna be great. You guys are, uh, Wonderful. dicks. This is spicy! Too spicy! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you have spice pranked me again. I will not stand for this. It is unacceptable. I am in need of water. I am going. Do not try to follow me and console me in any way. Yeah, no oh. worries on that front. Yeah, I was gonna say, no problemo, cool. dude. Sweet. <laughs> lemon grab spat out that spicy lemon John wad right onto the floor. Kind of gross. Kind of gross when you're standing yeah, in it. That wad of chewed lemon johns would stick to pretty much anything. I'm gonna hope that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so dirty, dirty, clean. There! Now it looks like the dark colored lemon pulls. All clean! Now it's a light colored lemon pull. The light's green. That must mean the door's unlocked. One would hope. There's the catcher's mitt. If I call the sword, maybe it'll land in the mitt. Worth a try, I guess. All right. Guess I'll try calling the sword. Here goes no tongue. Hmm. Catcher's mitt must be a lot bouncier than the gauntlet <laughs> of the hero. We're going to have to find some way to make the sword stick to the mitt. That explains the candy. There. Now the sword should stick to the catcher's mitt when I call it. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, let me try calling the sword again. No tongue! Hey, hey it worked. worked. Let's grab that stupid sword and get out of here. All right. Awesome. Come on, Finn. Just take the sword so we can head back to Billy's cave. Glad that's over. Let's head back to Billy's cave and put that sword where it belongs. And let's not call it by its name. Did you get Billy's sword? Yeah, but you wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get it. Nah, I was filling Marceline in on what you did. Glad it all turned out. And no hard feelings for taking all my peppers. We can even that score at some later date. Thanks. Marceline, how about you? I Any problems tracking me. down all the artifacts and putting them back in Billy's cave? Um, no problems worth mentioning. Everything's back. We should be fine once we seal up the cave. Then what are we waiting for? I guess nothing. Hey, where are you going? Man, that is super annoying. Yeah, right? And it's gonna be a problem. The cave won't stay sealed if the sword keeps flying away to its owner. What can we do? I wish there was a way to make Billy the rightful owner again. 
That's it. Good thinking. If you destroy the bill of sale, the sword reverts to its original owner. Great! Oh. Let's do it! Sure glad Marceline was able to get back all of Billy's artifacts. Yeah, it scares me you what she means by that. figure out how to destroy the bill of sale yet? I don't think so. That's it, Impaler. No way. I don't want to own that crazy sword. Oh. Oh, look, a snail. Hey, a happy little snail. Who's waving? Yeah, he is extremely happy, isn't he? Aw, kind of a cutie. Glad Flambeau's not holding a grudge about us taking his peppers. Could always give his peppers back, you know. Maybe you should think about getting me some more peppers when we're all done here. That's the crack that no um, Billy's sword goes in. Why would I do that? Because you want to keep Billy's sword? There's no point in putting the sword in the crack until the bill of sale is destroyed. No, I might still need these peppers for something. What would you need them for? Nah, I don't think so. That ain't working, dude. Well, that combination ain't working. That's not working. Not gonna work. So what eh, do I be missing? Oh! An old fire pit. <laughs> Yeah, good idea. Let's burn that thing. We'll need some stuff to burn and a way to light it. Now all we have to do is find a way to light the fire. Hey, Flambo! Want the rest of your peppers back? Oh, there's some left? Yeah, sure. Hey, yours are great. So, wait. The pepper all right. anyway? Bye -bye, bill of sale. Yeah! Now let's seal up Billy's cave so we can head home. Flambo's still looking particularly fiery. Glad taking his peppers didn't cool him off or anything. Right. You figure out a way to destroy that bill of sale thing yet? Yeah. Kinda just, uh, used you. Okay, time to close up Billy's cave again. Ugh. Ugh. Now all of Billy's stuff is safely locked away where nobody will get to it. At least for now. <sighs> but what about Thanks, the sword? Guys. Sorry I caused so much trouble. It's okay. Just no more yard sales! Are you Gotta guys agree telling with that. me what I can and can't do? Uh, no. Marceline, you can totally do whatever you want. Yeah, with your do it. <laughs> oh, after all these years, you guys are still easy targets. See ya! Sheesh. I think I've had enough for today. Let's head home. You said it, buddy. I could use a little downtime. This investigation stuff is hard work. Yay! But we still have the wet willy. Like, um... What do we do with that? Perfect! That's oh. exactly what Bimo needed. There! Bing! Jake! I have fixed the record player! Yay, Bimo! Whoa! Nice job, Bimo! That's even better than the old one! Yeah, yeah it, is. it looks that's cool. Awesome. What say we do a little dance and celebrate our first four successful investigations? That's a great idea. I think we should start by playing my favorite record, the one Mom and Dad used to play for me. Where'd you put it, Bimo? I have it right here, Finn. Don't worry, I kept it very safe, and I cleaned it up just for you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's spin that puppy. Here we go. Yay! Dance party! Um, there is actually music on your favorite record, right? Fimo, when you cleaned the record, what did you do? I noticed that the record was very bumpy, so I fixed it. Oh my goodness, paper. you erased it's it. It's as smooth as the Fimo's bottom. Yay, Fimo! 
no. You did what? Bemo? The bumpy parts are what hold all the music and stuff. Without those, the record won't play. Oh, no. Bemo has really messed things up. I'm sorry, Finn. That's okay, Bemo. You were only trying to help. But man, what are we gonna do, Jake? That record was a reminder of how mom and dad raised me after they found me in the woods. I love that oh, record. Oh, okay, so they're not worry, the real buddy. mom we'll and dad. Think of some... hmm. Jake, I don't know if I can concentrate on another case right now. I don't know, man. Check this out. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. That's weirdly specific. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it must mean there's a way to fix the record. What should we do first? Hmm. Well, let's start by taking the record to Marceline. She helped us the last time we had a musical problem. Maybe she knows what we have to do to fix it. Look! There's a new case available on the ticker type. Yeah, we know. You literally said that before record that. Record player's fixed. Now we have to get my record fixed so we have something to play on it. All right. Well, you know what, though? I cannot check the go. Oh. More junk. We've got lots of junk. I want to check the money. Cause it looked like it keeps growing, and I want I want to see if it did. Yeah, it does. Dang. Whoa. We're gonna have to go to Wildberry Kingdom again soon. On second thought, eh, maybe not. Holy crap! We just stole the dosh from the cave from Billy's cave. WTF? Okay. Anyway, let's start this mission. Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's we know. record. You said yes. this. You got that right. Well, let's start. Album recover. Oh wow, that's a uh, quite a few people, isn't it? Okay, is this Marceline's house then? It's a pretty nice house, in all Marceline. honesty. She'll know how to fix your record. Marceline, we got another musical problem, and we need your help. Oh no, Magic Man's not gonna make us dance again, is he? Cause that got old really fast. Yeah, it did. No, it's way worse. Bimo wrecked my favorite record. He sanded off all the grooves, and now it won't play. <laughs> is that all? That's no problem. You can fix that. You just have to get your groove back, so to speak. How do I do that? Yeah, really. Well, it's not easy, but I can help. First, you're going to have to get your hands on some pretty rare equipment. Here's a list of what you need. Okay, an epic microphone of crooning. The epic yeah. microphone of crooning? Is that some kind of special microphone? Yes. It's charged with powerful magical energy. It senses the emotions of whoever's making the recording and transforms the performance into whatever epic music you can imagine. You're a silly girl. Okay, cables of insulation. Cables of insulation? You mean we need special cables to make this work? To make a perfect recreation of Finn's record, we'll be using a lot of magic. A normal cable would just melt. I suppose. Cables of insulation are magically insulated so that spell energy and music can flow through them together without everything going up in smoke. I guess that makes logical sense. Reel to reel. A reel to reel recorder? Can't we just use the cassette recorder we normally use when we jam out? Not reel to reel. Reel to reel. It's a rare magical tape recorder. Oh. It magically mixes any musical sound into an exact copy of whatever song you're trying to make. No matter what the real music sounds like, the recording is always perfect. With Dang. a little work, I can forget to record the music on a record. I guess it's shopping time! Where can we get all this stuff? Well, it's all magic, so you'll have to go to Wizard City. Of course, Wizard City. Marceline, we can't go to Wizard City. They won't let us in like last time. Bemo used that ultimate wizard disc thingy to rebuild our record player. Yeah, the wizard police would just turn us into sticks. Don't worry, I got you covered. Forest Wizard owed me a favor. He never gave me back the potion distiller I lent him. Oh, that's your potion to distiller? He gave me some day pass charms for Wizard City. I'll cast two on you before you leave. That's Word. how you get into Wizard City. Thanks, Marceline. 
No problem. Okay, that's you get all the a stuff, little interesting. Come back to me and I'll tell you what we need to do next. Hey, wizards only f Oh, sorry. I see your day pass enchantments are in order. Move along. Have a nice day. Cool. Weird. Thanks, man. All right. So next save point, we'll call it good for he this episode. Said he'd come in. I think we should just leave him alone now. Yeah, I don't know the meaning of that. Hey, wizards! Oh, oh, never mind. Hi. Well, at least we don't need the bathroom this time. The people who clean Wizard City sure leave behind a lot of stuff. Yeah, they do. Sure. I guess a broom could come in handy at some point. That's still super weird, but, you know, whatever. Nothing interesting on the notice board this time. Until there is. Mwah. All right, looks it's like we can't go in. that wizard payphone that we used to order the pizza that other time. But let's see what's this way. Coffin, that's new. It's one of those sarco, sarcopha, fancy coffin things. I wonder what's inside. That lid's stuck tight. I'll never be able to open the sarcopha thingy barehanded. Nah, I don't think so. All right. Sure. Hey, this must be the cable they used to repair that street lamp. I bet this cable will work great for our recording. Funny the amount of useful stuff we found laying around lately. Part of the game, part of the game, guys. Wizard's drool. <laughs> Graffiti cleaner is not in my job description. Yeah, meow. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Dig around in there, see if there's anything good. Looks like there's something hanging. Hmm. Marceline said we needed a special cable for our recording. All I found is an old battery cable. Oh well, I'll take it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna guess nothing that I can use there. Okay, I don't want to go inside Rick James's place yet. Actually, I don't think it's Rick James, but. <laughs> what a happy little snail. Yeah, he's a cutie, isn't he? The vending machine's still broken from last time, but somebody left a wizard coin in the coin return. Ooh, the let's vending get machine's it. still Oops. broken from last time, but somebody left a wizard coin in the coin return. Yeah, I'll just take that coin. Finders keepers. Looks like some kind of charger. Unless you're going to buy that, lay off. No. What else we got? The wizard's broom. Is it just me, or is it weird that a broom shop has a crowbar on the sign? It is. Yeah, a crowbar always comes in handy, but I can't just take it. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, you can't. Not when you're going this way and it's over here. But, you know, whatever. Got a crowbar. The sign makes sense now. Win-win. I suppose it did it, 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 it. We'll be back, wizard boy. We'll be back. I want to open up that sarcophagus. I'm sure the crowbar can do that. Man, I just hope there's not a body in there. There should Ooh. be, but... No body inside. Just a battery. This is weird, but comforting. It's a battery for something. Hope it's not a dead battery. Could be because, you know, it's in a coffin. I guess that would make sense. All right. I just figured since it's combined together, but awesome. All right, as we still wait for a save point. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to things. Wonder if that's the recorder thing Marceline was talking about. Hey, you can look, but don't touch. Maybe I want to touch. Bufo looks like he's trying to steal some of Ron James's business. I'm guessing not all that stuff is his. Probably not. What's up, Bufo? What you doing? Selling stuff? 
Of course I am! What does it look like? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm under a lot of stress. Please, take a look around and let me know if you have any questions. So, looks like some kind of tape recorder there. Better than that, it's a rare reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Ah, That's I the see. recorder there is. Works like it was brand new. It's yours for the low, low price of 50 wizard coins. Think I got one. Finn, that's just what we need. But there's no way we can afford that. Not unless we get 50 wizard coins, apparently. What about that charger looking thing? What's the story on that? That is a state of the dark arts magical item State charger. of the dark arts. You can recharge wands, magic swords, anything uh... that runs on magic. It's a fixer upper, so I could probably let it go for a mere 30 wizard coins. So far, so bad. Kind of pricey for a piece of junk that doesn't work. Got How about magic cables? cables? Got any of those? Sorry, afraid not. We're in the market for a special microphone. The epic microphone of crooning. Do you have one? Oh, I'm sorry. I did have one, but I sold it to Ron James earlier today. You news you lose. Yeah, so I guess. we're interested in your stuff, but we're sort of kind of um broke. We're pretty much dodged out. I see. Well, I'm always willing to negotiate a fair price, but I can't come down too much. We all need money. Yeah, about that. Why does a super powerful wizard like you need to sell junk for extra scratch? That's a good question. I lost my secret society pendant. Until I can afford uh... to replace it, I'm banished from the secret society of wizards. Man, that stinks. Well, if we come up with some money or something, Jake and me would be happy to help you out and buy your stuff. Maybe we'll get the pendant. Okay, but the merchandise is moving fast. You better act quickly. I bet. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll be here whenever you come back. <laughs> who am I kidding? I'll still be here. One wizard coin? I'll entertain reasonable offers for my items, but that's an insult. You'll probably want to hang on to that in case you decide to buy this sweet reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Yeah, I just want to see what he has that to say about work. it all. That's just great, though. Okay. So, still haven't come to a safe point. That's the door fine. The to Ron James' shop. At least there's not a line this time. Wizard robe. Nice. Ah, uh, really? Sure. Oh, Check God, out, him man. again. I think this guy is following us around. I'm gonna say I know this guy's following us around. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Oh, hey. Good to see you guys again. You guys are wizards? Oh. Nah, we got a day pass spell from our friend Marcy. You buy anything good from Ron James? Nah, I haven't really found anything interesting. You? We're just shopping for recording equipment. Magical recording equipment. Oh, well good luck with that. See you guys later. This is the weirdest character I have ever seen. That sunny guy really gets around. Hey. Hey. Weird. Don't mess with it, Finn. We're not supposed to know that's a secret door. Right, right, right. I know, but... I guess we know where to go if we need to buy a skull. I have no idea what that pendant is. I found it after somebody broke into my shop a while back. I must have dropped it. I can let you have it cheap. How cheap? I'd be happy to sell you guys that pendant. That'll be one wizard coin. Cash that we can money. do. Just a second to touch stuff. Why do bottles always look so tempting? Because they are. Hey, quit and messing with my potion bottles. He's not happy about that, but... We should talk to Ron James and see if he has the recording stuff we need. Welcome back, brothers. What kind of magic biz y'all's up to today? We're making a record, and our friend Marceline said that we need some magical recording equipment. You sell that stuff? Magical tunes. Nice. What do you need? We have a list. Magic Marceline tape recorder. said that we need a special magical tape recorder. Do you have one of those? A reel-to-reel -reel recorder? No, man. I don't carry those. They're really, really rare. 
But there's gotta be one or two floating around somewhere in town. There are a lot of wizards that are way into awesome. Yeah, we did find one, so. How about a magic microphone? microphone? You have one of those? You're in luck. I just picked up a really sweet one. The epic microphone of crooning. Well, that it's is what we need. Line in magic microphones. Dude, that's the one Marceline said we need. We gotta get that. How? Bummer is, it's lost its magical charge. I couldn't in good conscience sell you an uncharged magic microphone. Sure you could. We got yeah, a charger. That's out because we probably don't have enough money to buy one at the moment. Marceline said we need some kind of special cable to hook everything up. Got any of that? Nah, that specialized magic audio cable is way too expensive, brah. Truth? Any heavily insulated magical cable can be used instead of actual cable of insulation. Oh, that's good to know. That kind of cable is just laying around in Wizard City all over the place. Well then, I think we magically found like it. all I've got that you need is the microphone. Like I said, it ain't charged. And like you said, you don't have enough money to buy it anyway. Oh man. Okay, E.T. We really need that microphone. Can we make some kind of deal? Hmm. Well, an uncharged microphone ain't gonna sell anyway, and getting it recharged is a problem. Magic Mike's charge shop got raided by the Wizard Popo yesterday, and the all Wizard the stuff Popo. Got I love that. I'd ask him to help me out anyway, but you know, he's a stick now. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. Yeah, it does. But why charger, is he a stick? I could start offering charging services. I'd be the only one in town doing it. We're talking some major wizard coin. Would you give me that one and Tell you what, if you guys can find me a working magical charger, the epic microphone of crooning, it's yours. I'd even throw in a free charge. What do you say? All right, I you got a deal. Go out and find you a magical charger. Thanks, Ron James. We'll see you soon. Happy to help. Feel free to browse. I might not have everything you need, but I always encourage impulse buying. I bet. Congratulations, bros. You just bought yourselves a really nice pendant of some kind. Enjoy. Oh, I will. Wonder if this pendant is like the one Bufo was saving for. Sorry, guys. I can't accept this charger. It's missing some of its parts. If you can fix it, I'd be happy to make a trade for the epic microphone of Crooney. What? What is it missing? All right, whatever, I suppose. I, I didn't know it was missing something, but... So, think we could do a trade for this? Oh. What the? My secret society pendant. You found it. So, can we maybe we trade the pendant for... Everything? Take it. Take all of this junk. It's yours. I've got to go. Guys, guys, I have my pendant. Don't start the next meeting without me. Man, that is one happy wizard. Yeah, and he gave us stuff. And he gave us stuff. Cool. Cool. There's the save point. All right. We will go ahead and leave it here. When we come back, we'll grab the charger battery or whatever that is, the recorder, give the charge set to James, Get the microphone and uh, be ready to record, I believe. So, until then, remember, keep gaming. Never give up. Maybe you should hide that sword somewhere. Because someone will open that cave again. Like, seriously. <laughs>